I think that in, for, that in preparing for a sermon, uh, when a preacher reads the text, um, I'm, of course I'm all for doing traditional exegetical work, understanding the historical context, and, and so just assuming that we do all of that. I hope that's a safe assumption, but assuming we do all of that, uh, when we now move from that textual study to, to preaching, uh, the, the preacher, I think, moves away from simply asking questions about message to asking questions about impact and effect, to asking how, how is this story going to affect people? What will it do to them? What is, it, what is the potential? For this story to transform uh, to affect people's lives. And uh, as a Lutheran, I specifically frame that question in two ways, law and gospel. Uh, the story, the biblical text, affects us by bringing God's word that accuses us and condemns us, that's the law, and by bringing God's word that comforts us and saves us, that's the gospel. And I find with every lectionary text that I ever need to consider, whether it's from the Old Testament, the epistles, the gospels, I ask the questions, how does this story uh, bring that message of condemnation? Because I am a poor, miserable sinner. The text, the word of God always condemns me. But because our God is a God of mercy and love and grace, the Word always saves me. And I look for both of those meanings in the text and then try to bring that into my sermon.